down in Switzerland. Yeah, so I had a good night's sleep. Um, just popped out of the tent, made a cup of tea, and uh, discovered a lot of cloud, early morning cloud. And um, this might thwart my plans of an early morning flight down. Uh, so this is looking east now. So I've got to climb up to the top there. It's only 100 meters vertical. And then, um, and then head along the valley about seven kilometers before I can sort of duck underneath the sea on airspace. But uh, yeah, a little bit problematic at the moment. Well, it's 20 past seven and I'm just hiking. Um, probably can't see it in the mist. Up there, get my bearings right. I don't think there's any rush because of this cloud that's sort of slowly lifting. But as it's lifting, it's covering my where I am. Righty, next report at the top. It really is something else up here, I have to say. What a view. Just want a few holes to appear in the cloud. Or preferably the cloud to disappear altogether. But as places to chill out and wait, doesn't get much better. So I've just gone a little bit higher to Mont Noble, 2,673. This is looking east, where I want to go. I'm not sure I can be, t I'll be taking off just yet. <laughs> and then I'll just walk around the, uh, the statue here, north. And then back to uh, west again. Well, I had no choice really but to punch out through the cloud. Otherwise I was going to be there all day. I've got 400 meters to my turn point where I can uh, turn across the valley. I've got to be below 18, 29 meters, and I'm currently at 19, 40, uh, 1900. So I'm fractionally high at the moment. So let's play by the rules. Just lose a little bit of height. Okay, 1840. And I'm still outside it. Eight, yeah, it's perfect. Sion Valley. Airspace 1,000 feet above me. Not that there's any aircraft coming this way. It would be really cool if I could find a climb. Few little bumps of lift. Plenty of little landing options. Oh, I think I better go for a landing. It wasn't really strong enough. That was amazing. Maybe if I'd taken off an hour later, from there it would have worked. Oh, who knows? Pack up, get high. Woohoo! Yeah, so I just had a really good lift from this lovely Swiss couple, Jean-Luc, aka Lucky, and his wife Patricia. And they drove me up to Montana. So I'm just doing it short walk to uh, the the one at Kranz which will take me up to about two three which will be about perfect I'd say right well this is a pretty nice takeoff 
Someone thermally up there. Sun is somewhere up there in the clouds. But I think I need to go left. Well, there's a bit of breeze. See if it'll pop up. Hopefully not caught on too many flowers. Cable's well above me. bit of a plateau here not really much happening I think it often kicks off at the shoulder so let's try over here there. that's a bit more like it and about a thousand shafts all disappeared But that slope there has to be working. Oh, come on. <laughs> Slowly gaining height. Just spectacular here, but but it's sort of uh, I can't really get above two and a half at the moment. Well, I got up to two six earlier, but come on, there has to be a climb around here somewhere. There were a bunch of clouds, but they're all dissipating. I think it's just a question of heading over here again. There's a bunch of takeoffs up here higher up than me but that presumably means there's lift around let's try here that'll do one to two This is what's known as a rough lee side thermal.
is a nice smooth climb and actually it's not bad and it's about a five but it just peaked at seven then I'm happy for it to stay at five wind is just south of west the trouble is the valley uh, takes a bend to the left a bit more a bit more northeast in a minute so I want to be high I haven't really been high for a while Valley. Approaching the Alec Glacier and Fish. Another snotty Lee Cider. Look at this, I'm at 3,100. Really nice climb. In the wispies. Three, two. Drift is saying westerly 11k. Well, how's about that? Three and a half thousand feet at meters. That's better. So the Altes Glacier. And feast just over this this ridge. Taking the opportunity to put my inners on. It's quite cold. And I had a bite to eat. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Nice some climb here. That lake looks rather lovely. Sparkling in the sunshine. Much that glass is melted though. It's the same story everywhere. This this year they recorded 10 degrees on top of Mont Blanc. The previous high was five degrees three years ago. Ten degrees. It's too much. 4,800. Ah, oh, this is beautiful, up at 3,050 meters. Just passing over the town of Fish.
Okay, so my route seems to that I planned was down there and uh, down the Newfoot Pass. And to be honest, that's the only possibility. The Furka Pass is cut off by cloud. We've got the Grimsor snakes spilling over the Grimsor Pass. Um, so I think time to cross the valley. Or maybe maybe one more climb before I do. Although let's just see where it's gonna where Fly Sky High thinks I'll end up. I'm at three, almost three three. Oh yeah, I should be able to make it. So last time I came down this way with Chris. Um, there was a booming climb on this corner here, so fingers crossed. Now there's nothing but booming sink, shit. What the fuck? Come to this front first. Necessary, I'll turn them back and land down there. My ground speed isn't too bad at this stage, about 30, 35 k, so I'm aiming for the area where that car is parked. And it wasn't until the very last few meters, really, 50 meters maybe, that I suddenly realized I was going too fast and was going to overshoot it. Um, and I failed to notice those trees in the sort of left-hand side uh, thrashing a bit. So I stuck my legs out and just tried to avoid the rocks as best I could. And uh, that is where the GoPro footage ended. I guess it buffers a bit before it writes it to the SD card and it didn't capture any more of that. Probably just as well. I do not know what's going on. Well, that flight was going uh, so well until it, until it stopped going well. And I landed um, in this ridiculously windy valley here um, and effect and actually landed downwind which was not clever 100 meters above the ground I was 
going at a sensible speed, dropped lower and suddenly discovered, fuck, I'm going very fast. So I just aimed to avoid um, any rocks, which I managed to do, although I did slightly cut my leg. But that's fine, put a, put a sort of little bandage thing on it. Um, the trouble is my pod is uh, torn, so unless I can get that fixed or get a new one, and I'm a bit stuffed really. Uh, so, hitch to Obergoms and then uh, uh, get a beer and just uh, make a plan. Yeah, this is what caught me out. station for a train to Brig and then I'm going to get a train to Tun because uh, advance I've got a minus three pod so um, I'm going to head there tomorrow and uh, hopefully be back in the game well definitely be back in the game by the time the, the good weather returns on Saturday so I don't think I'm going to miss much tomorrow or, or Friday um, so if we're going to have a crap landing in a shit place then uh, today was the day to do it <laughs> Does that make sense? There is a massive, massive, massive scout jamboree at Ulrican. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> there must be thousands of kids. During the train ride back to Toon, um, I decided I should get the wound checked out and uh, spent a couple of hours in Toon Hospital where this uh, doctor cleaned it out and stitched it up um, uh, and did a, an excellent job and then rather than staying in the 250 pound a night hotel that they had found for me I decided to bivy in a nearby field in the corner of someone's orchard so that worked out really well. Well I did a nice little bit of stealth wild camping in Tun and I'm uh, going to have a coffee and some breakfast and then I'm gonna uh, head over to Advance. Such a cool place with this river. Got a couple of surfers over there. I guess they're gonna try and ride these standing waves. These ones back here. So I'm gonna carry on watching for a bit. So I'm just leaving Advance, harness all sorted, and I'm cycling to a campsite. Hopefully there's space, and hopefully I'll get there before uh, before the, the rain hits. Um, but it's been brilliant. Toby has been a star. Um, sorted out my harness, new new speed bag, and I've patched up the ballast compartment. Um, but yeah, I'm going home tomorrow evening under doctor's orders. Yeah, so my final meal in Switzerland, well, final evening meal in Switzerland, I should say. The old favorite cashew nazi. <laughs> and I'm in a campsite just outside Toon. Um, I'm heading home tomorrow. Um, Got to get a little, uh, a little, a little cut. It's not really, it's a bit more than a little cut. Uh, just got to get it checked out on Saturday with my local GP. Um, yeah, it's been a blast, absolute blast. Well, that's the end of another gumball. What a great blast it's been. So I got home on the Friday and the very next week I had two amazing flights, 142K from the Malverns and then a 220 kilometer flight from Selsley down to Eastbourne. Meanwhile, Roberto and Cyprian uh, spent the next couple of weeks uh, flying and hiking all the way to Slovenia. So brilliantly well done to them. And finally, if you do a quick search for a video called Never Assume on my channel, you'll see a little bit more analysis about uh, what, what I did wrong um, at the end of this flight. Just some more learning.